So one person who has certainly found his purpose in life is our next guest. Ranging from humour to heroes with a combination of obviously eye-popping graphics, the cultural phenomenon of comic books has obviously had a massive impact on pop culture. We can see this in the Marvel Universe. And although maybe the comic books themselves are becoming more a collectible item, that superhero, superhero mania that it graced us with remains even more popular today, I think. And in celebration of the latest Thor film, today we've invited comic illustrator, animator, and artist, man of many talents, Alvarado de Oliveira, into studio. Um, Ari, welcome to it, my friend. Thank you. Um, you're busy working hard already on a, on a creation here, so we are going to be revealing your rendition of Thor a little bit later. I love it. I, I've been collecting comic books my whole life, so I get it. I understand. And so for me, it's almost like the world is catching up with the rest of us. But I wish that I had a gift like this, a natural talent. Where did this seed first germinate for you? Where did your love of comic books and this notion of being able to draw these kinds of characters first come? Um, as an adolescent, I watched a lot of cartoons and read some books, usually magical related books. <laughs> and uh, cartoons in particular from Disney were um, the first spark of my, of my interest in, in animation and illustration. And, uh, and so as a kid, I'd, I'd copy everything that I'd saw, uh, all the cartoons, all my favorite characters and so on. And over time, it became more of a habit, more of a, um, uh, just, just an interest I had in, uh, at the back of my, of my mind. But over time, I started to take it a little bit more seriously because I started to become more good at it. And so um, only after I finished high school, or before actually I started high school, did I, did I see it as a, as a realistic career goal to, to set. Uh, and and you've got to back yourself, because I would imagine there, there weren't a huge amount of artists, or certainly comic book, kind of that style of, of artwork, those kind of... That, kind of penmanship animators around you. How difficult was it embarking on this journey? We've just been talking about finding your kind of drive and that, that place in the world. How difficult was it establishing yourself to get to the point where you are now? Um, much of it had to do with my, my own sense of, of, of self uh, comfort and also the confidence in conjuring my own imagination. So um, I, I, I didn't know what, what part of, of, of my own imagination I, I could uh, necessarily um, uh, trust. Uh, but over time, I, I realized that, that it, it's okay to conjure your own imaginations and create whatever Let worlds you want. Exactly. Yeah. So, and that gave me the freedom to create whatever worlds I wanted on paper, on sand, or whatever media I used. I, I love that. And it must be therapeutic. I, uh, yes. therapeutic, I would yes. imagine. But having a skill like this is one thing, but it almost becomes a, a shortfall in your life if you're not paying homage to that. You've got to express yourself if you've got that talent. Yes. And you're able to do that in multiple uh, mediums now because comic books have become every kind of media. You've been involved in the creation of a short film, Pyramid. Tell us a bit more about that. So the Pyramid was uh, uh, conceptualized by a man named Dr. Mohammed Ghazala um, of uh, Efat University in Egypt. And he, um, when he first approached me, he sent me a message he had seen one of my animations on, in, online and said, hey, I'm, I'm thinking up of a, of a series and could you, uh, could you elaborate on this character for me? Uh, could, you, could you perhaps give me a, some sort of sample? And so uh, he gave me a sketch and uh, I reiterated it and gave him a, a sample of this character uh, pushing a block. Kind of coming to life. Yes, yeah. and, um, and he enjoyed it and we proceeded with the, uh, with the entire production from the contract that I wrote to uh, the storyboard, the schedule, um, to, to the entire production process, to all the way through music, which I also directed, um, and sound design, and uh, the final render. So, wow. so right now we're, we're still, um, it's still making the rounds in animation festivals around the world. Uh, we haven't uploaded a full movie yet. Uh, but, and so far, the, the reception has been very good. Well, you're only going to unlock one of the greatest mysteries on the planet through yes. this. I mean, come yes. on, yes. absolutely <laughs> beautiful. But just think of how many other young minds you're introducing yep to the imagination. Yes, that exactly. to me is something so yeah. special. Well, you, uh, you can feel my childlike excitement already. I'm looking at this creation coming yes. to life here. In just a moment, Ari is gonna show us his take on Thor, God of Thunder. All day today, we are celebrating the incredible character that Thor is and has become in the Marvel Universe ahead of the latest release in the Thor saga. Those who saw it last night absolutely loved it. If you were one of those lucky enough, let us know what you thought of it. Ari is not going anywhere. We're gonna take a look at his Thor in just a moment.